Greetings. I would like to tell you about a very influential and much admired musician and composer by the name of Chevalier de Saint George. Chevalier de Saint George is the first classical composer of African ancestry. He was born in Belief, Basseterre, a French region of Guadeloupe in the Caribbean in 1745. But there is some discrepancy in the actual years because one account has him being born at 1748 and his death certificate records show that it was 1739 as his date of birth. But this was not uncommon to have inaccurate recordings, especially when it came to the birth dates of blacks or black slaves during these times. His name at birth was Joseph Boulogne. His father was a planter and plantation owner, and yes, he owned slaves. His father, a former counselor at the Parliament of Metz, was named Georges de Boulogne Saint George. Georges de Boulogne was married, but he was not married to Joseph's mother. Georges de Boulogne was married to Elizabeth American. Joseph's mother name was Nanon, a 16-year-old African slave from Senegal who served as Elizabeth's personal slave girl. African slave women were targets for slave owners' sexual desires on a large scale throughout slavery. Joseph's father was given the name de Saint George after one of his plantations in Guadeloupe. The Boulogne family owned thriving sugarcane and coffee plantations and many of them held senior ranks in the colony's armed forces. In 1757, Joseph's father acquired the title of the gentleman of the king's chamber. But Joseph was not under French law eligible for any titles of nobility because he was mulatto or of a mixed race. He was black because his mother was African. In the 17th century, there was something called a black noir, black code. These black codes were a set of laws that governed slavery and ownership of slaves. Because he was black and blacks were looked upon as being inferior, Joseph could not inherit or have any land or property passed down from his white father. These laws and racial attitudes towards people of color made it impossible for Joseph Boulogne to marry anybody at his level of society. In 1753, his father took Joseph at age seven to France for his education, installing him in a boarding school. Two years later, Joseph's father and Joseph's African mother, Nanan, came to Bordeaux. They all moved into a small apartment. At the age of 13, Joseph was enrolled by his father in a school for fencing and horsemanship. By the age of 15, George was beating the best swordsman. In 1766, after graduating from the Royal Polytech Academy, Joseph was made officer of the king's bodyguard and a chevalier, which is a knight. Joseph Malone adopted the name of his father and would be known as Chevalier de Saint George. Following the Seven Year War, a global war involving all five European great powers from 1756 to 1763. George Boulogne returned to Guadeloupe to look after his plantations. Joseph's father had made a last will and testament where he left Joseph an annuity of 8,000 francs and a pension to Nanon, who remained with her son in Paris. When Joseph's father died in 1774 in Guadeloupe, George awarded Joseph annuity to his legitimate daughter, Elizabeth Benedictine.
Nothing is known about Chevalier de Saint George's uh, musical training. There are no documentations of any training before 1764. At the age of 18, he debuted as a soloist playing his first two violin concertos, also becoming a concert master and conductor. They were inspired by the famous Austrian composer Franz Joseph Haydn's, the father of the symphony and the father of string quartet, earliest quartets. St. George wrote two more sets of six string quartets, three forte piano and violin sonatas, a sonata for harp and flute and six violin duos. The music for three other known compositions were lost. St. George's first compositions, Opus 1, he wrote and published his instrumental between 1771 and 1779. He also wrote six opera comics and a number of songs in manuscript. In 1773, St. George's was designated as director of the Concert des Amateurs. After two years of directing the group, the group was described by many to be the best orchestra for symphonies in Paris and perhaps in all of Europe. He is known to have taught the Queen, Marie Antoinette. Chevalier de Saint Georges has 17 published works, 15 unpublished works, and 17 stage works. Some of his works include the Symphony Opus 11, number one in D major, Violin Concerto in G major, Opus 2, number one, and the Rondo Violin Concerto in D major. In 1792, the Parliament established a light army consisting of black people, often referred to as the Légion St. George's, because of the outstanding performance of Colonel St. George. Chevalier de St. George was a colonel of the French Revolutionary Army. He commanded a volunteer unit of over 1,000 men. Alexander Dumas, the creator of the Three Musketeers, father was one of the men under St. George's command, Thomas Alexander Dumas. It is believed that the character, D'Artagnan, is based off of the real life Chevalier de Saint George for his swordsmanship. Chevalier de Saint George was condemned by critics for being involved in non-revolutionary activities such as music events and was dismissed and imprisoned for over a year and threatened with execution. He was released, but did not resume command after the appeal and was banned from dealing with his former comrades. He lived a semi-retired life, developing health problems. During this time, he devoted a lot of time to his playing the violin. Two years before his death, Chevalier de Saint George tried to rejoin the army. He signed his petition, George, he was not reinstated. On June 12, 1799, Chevalier de Saint George died of bladder disease at the age of 53. Chevalier de Saint George was known as the Black Mozart. He is said to have been the most accomplished man in Europe, according to the President of the United States of America, President John Adams. He was a much respected athlete. He was a master swordsman, known as the God of Arms. He was an accomplished violinist, musician, and dancer. He was an amazing individual. It is said that he swam in a river with one hand tied behind his back. He was called the Black Mozart or Mozart Noir because many mistake his works for Mozart. Mozart was known to have borrowed from Chevalier de Saint George for some work that he was doing during the Romantic period. There were many great composers during the 18th century, but Chevalier de Saint George stands out on a platform all on his own that no man can compare. Born the son of an African slave woman, 
not permitted by law to inherit the nobility of his white slave-owning father. Although put in the position by his father to be successful, Joseph Boulogne, Chevalier de Saint George, achieved greatness and world recognition against many odds on his own. Through his strong will, persistent determination, and God-given talents, skills, and abilities, Chevalier de Saint George will forever be etched in the minds and souls of those who can appreciate his contribution to the world of music.